But now, he's the exotic creature who made international headlines when he was fished out of a lake in Cumbria two months ago. Now, Fluffy has found a new home. Fluffy. Uh, <laughs> alligator snapping turtle. Yeah, that's it. Uh, normally found in the warm waters around Florida, but now settling into the National Centre for Reptile Welfare near Tunbridge in Kent. <laughs> Juliet Parkin has the story. Meet Fluffy the not-so-cuddly reptile with a not-so-friendly reputation. But believe it or not, it's not uncommon to keep these creatures as pets. Just make sure you're careful where you put your fingers. You can see on his tongue here, we can see that little pink lure. And that's what he uses to lure fish in. So he's an ambush predator. He doesn't rush around chasing things. He sits there waiting for the food to come to him. Some little fish swims along, sees that tongue, and thinks, oh, that's a nice juicy worm, and they become lunch. So they have a very fearsome reputation, which is actually due to their looks. He's not aggressive. If you put your finger in his mouth, he would bite you and it would hurt quite a lot. Fluffy was named at the Cumbrian Vets where he was cared for after he was found in a lake. It's believed he'd been dumped. He's now recovering well at the centre near Tunbridge. He's quite soft, which is a condition called metabolic bone disorder. So he hasn't had the best diet. Um, he's feeding very well, so I think his prognosis now is extremely good. Any who take the bait find themselves grabbed by some of the most powerful jaws in the world. Alligator snapping turtles are native to swamps and rivers in southern parts of the US. They can weigh up to 12 stone and have a life expectancy well in excess of 100 years. Look at the size of that head. Fluffy's clearly got a bit of growing to do, but the centre's more than happy to have him to stay. Just pure muscle power driving that jaw. Because he's got an interesting story, he'll probably become a bit of a mascot for the centre. And visitors need no reminding, this animal may bite. Juliet Parkin, BBC News. It's kind of mesmerising. Isn't some it, lovable to some, not all, maybe. A face only a mother could love, <laughs> someone say. That's the phrase. <laughs>